Hi buddies, welcome back, it's Anne Sophia and today I have a few tips and tricks for your start with the Huawei Mate X3. First thing you can do is to look for the adaptive brightness and the screen timeout so you can go to your drop down menu and here you have this bar and we can set it to really high or to really low and now you almost don't see anything. Um, so that's the brightness of the screen and when we go to our settings and go to display and brightness we have the same bar here and we can also set it to automatic so then the display will automatically adjust its brightness to your surrounding. The other thing you can do is to go to screen and then sleep here and then set the screen timeout. So you can choose between 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 1 minute, 2 minutes, 5 minutes and 10 minutes. You can choose whatever you like best here and then just go back and then if you don't touch your phone for a while the screen will black out well at the time you set it. Next thing you can do is to block unknown numbers. For that you want to go to your phone icon, go to these four dots here, go to blocked and now you can make call block rules and message block rules. Call block rules, you can block all incoming calls but the numbers on the trust list. You can block unknown numbers and block private or withheld numbers. So you can enable whatever you like here and then go back and well enjoy the silence. Next thing you can do is to adjust the auto rotate. Maybe you want your screen to turn or you don't want it to turn. If you don't want it to turn keep that one here disabled. If you want it to turn you can enable it and then I can shift my screen to the other side with me. Next thing we can do is the dark mode and you can just enable it here in the drop down menu. It's enabled right now. We can turn that off just for like an example. You can enable it here or we go to our settings again, go to display and brightness and then go to dark mode. Here you have the option to well enable it all day, what we just did or say schedule it. So you can set a start time, so tonight at 8 for example and then the light mode will appear let's say tomorrow at 8 a.m. again. Next thing you can do is to turn on or off the location. For that you can go to your drop down menu and the location is off right now. You can turn that on, location services, um, enables apps and services to access the location of your device so they can provide you with location based services. Okay, keep in mind that if your phone is scanning your location all the time it will drain your battery a lot faster. Next thing, if your phone and your provider do support 5G but you live in an area where you can't access 5G you might want to turn that off because the scanning for 5G also drains your battery a lot faster. So you can go to your settings go to mobile network and then go to some management. You can go to mobile data. Here you have your SIM one and now you can click on preferred network mode. We have LTE, WCDMA and GSM auto. I don't even know what that is besides LTE. Then we have the WCDMA and the GSM auto and we have GSM only. So if our provider and the phone would support 5G, it will probably say here and then you can well, enable or disable it. We will go with LTE right now. Next thing you can do is the screenshot. We all know the probably most common one to press the power on and the volume down button at the same time. Then it made a screenshot. We can also go to your drop down menu, say screenshot here, then we'll make a screenshot. Or you can also knock on your screen two times and then it also makes a screenshot. For this to work you need to go to your settings, then go to accessibility features, go to shortcuts and gestures and then take a screenshot and this needs to be enabled, otherwise you're just knocking at your screen. Next thing you can do is the fingerprint um, to unlock your phone. For that we want to go to your settings, biometrics and password and then go to finger ID. We need to enter our pin first and then we can say what we want our fingerprint to use for. Unlock device, access safe, access app log or autofill, usernames and password. 
we will create a new fingerprint now slide in circle no need to lift your finger simply place your finger on the fingerprint sensor and then slide in a circle all right we'll do that now enrollment successful that was really easy we can rename it here click on ok and if we click on that we can rename it again or delete it we'll go ahead and lock our phone and then unlock it with our thumb and we're back on the phone so that works really well next thing we can do is we can create app folders to organize your phone a bit better you can create folders and for that you just need to press and hold on one app and drag it on top of another one you can put as many apps in this folder as you like or well until your phone says that you can't anymore you can also move these folders around when you press and hold and then well just move them to another space. The last tip is to have your battery percent shown on your screen. For that, we want to go to settings, go to battery and then go to battery percentage. It's set to do not show right now. We can set it to next to battery icon, then it's there, or we can set it inside the battery icon, then it's inside there. This can help. I always like a good overview of my battery percentage on uh, the phone. Um, so that's what you can do to, well, have that visualized. So this were the tips and tricks for the start with your Huawei Mate X3. Hope you liked it, hope it helped. If so, thumbs up, share and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.